Since the dawn of time, and certainly long before humans landed on the moon in 1969, humans have stared magically into space, wondering what and who was there. In 1897, southern England was invaded by Martians. Or rather, that was the plot of H.G. Wells' classic novel, The War of the Worlds. There's long been a hope that one day we will land on and colonize planets and stars. However, in order to accomplish this feat, not only will we have to produce technology, think NASA, rockets, and SpaceX, that will take us to those planets and stars, but we will also have to build ecosystems where humans can live. Biosphere 2 was an extraordinary experiment hatched in the early 1990s that planned to do just that. Think Big Brother, Survivor, and The Bachelor wrapped into a group of space-age biodomes in the middle of the Arizona desert. Biosphere 2, meant to simulate a self-sustaining colony on Mars, was a closed Earth system that would test validity of human life living in a non-Earth environment. The idea was to create a system that was completely sealed from the outside world. It wouldn't receive any air, water, food, animals, or plants from the outside. It was to be entirely self-sufficient. It was one of the most ambitious and forward-thinking experiments ever undertaken by humans. While the idea of biosphere had been around for decades, and a number of small biospheres had been tested both in the US and the Soviet Union, they were on a relatively smaller scale. In 1984, Ed Bass, an American businessman and philanthropist, and John Allen came up with the plan to create the Biosphere 2 in Oracle, Arizona. Ed Bass invested $150 million of his own money to start this ambitious scientific experiment. Many felt at the time that this would be the most significant scientific project of all time. The project was named Biosphere 2 as it was felt to be the second biosphere ever where humans would live. If you're wondering where the first biosphere was and when it was made, well, you are living on it. Earth was the first biosphere. The construction of Biosphere 2 was started by Space Biospheres Ventures in 1987, and it was completed in 1991. This massive project consisted of seven different biomes. These biomes included a 1,900-square-meter rainforest with a 25-foot waterfall, an 850-square-meter ocean complete with a living coral reef, a 450 square meter mangrove wetland, a 1300 square meter savanna grassland, a 1400 square meter desert, a 2500 square meter agricultural land, and a human habitat with living spaces, workshops, and laboratories. Diligent, detailed work was put in to ensure that Biosphere 2 could have as many Earth like conditions as possible. The biomes were completely sealed from the outside world. The domes were built from steel and glass. An extraordinary effort was made to ensure that every seal was airtight. While the Biosphere 2 was constructed with a long-term ambition, it was supposed to be the first step in creating a viable ecosystem where humans could live on other planets in future. It could only be run for its intended purpose for just a few years. Only two experiments would ever be held in this massive closed Earth system before it was sold. The first experiment started on the morning of September 26, 1991, when a group of eight people, four men and four women, coined the Biospherians, were introduced into the biosphere. Alongside them, there were a few goats, hens, roosters, pigs, hummingbirds and fish. There were a total of 3,000 animal and plant species in the biosphere, and 83% of the food consumed in the biosphere was grown inside of it. Mark Nelson, one of the biospherians, wrote that they would spend around 25% of the day farming, 20% of the day on research and maintenance, 19% of the day writing reports, 12% of the day cooking, 11% of the day on biomanagement, and 9% of the day on animal husbandry. According to him, the days were quite repetitive. 
This experiment ended two years later on September 26, 1993. During the course of the experiment, the health of the humans who lived in the biosphere remained relatively intact. However, food levels were low and the oxygen levels inside the biosphere dropped drastically. From 20.9% to 14.2%, the equivalent of living at a 15,000 feet elevation, due to low light levels and oxygen gulping bacteria, and oxygen had to be introduced from the outside in refrigerated trucks. Hummingbirds and honeybees died, and worms, mites, and cockroaches proved the test of time. Interestingly, but perhaps not unsurprising, the biggest challenge that emerged during the experiment was dealing with human behavior. Midway through the experiment, the group divided itself into two groups of four. Think Lord of the Flies. And although they continued to participate in the experiment, there were significant human challenges that persisted throughout the experiment. Mark Nelson would later say, just the fact that the same number of people came out as went in is a triumph. The second experiment inside Biosphere 2 began on March 6, 1994, with a planned runtime of 10 months. This time, seven people were introduced inside the closed Earth system for a period of 10 months. However, on April 5, 1994, two people who had lived inside the biosphere during the previous experiment illegally entered the site, smashed the windows, and opened the doors of the airlocks claiming they feared for the safety of the people inside. They were arrested by the police. Several months after the start of the second experiment, it came to an end and Space Biosphere Ventures was dissolved. The site was later turned into a research facility overseen by Columbia University and was ultimately sold to the University of Arizona in 2011. It is still used for research purposes. The university offers in-depth tours of Biosphere 2 to visitors in less than two hours for only $20 per person. Not a bad price at all. In the end, it has to be said that Biosphere 2 was an incredibly ambitious project. While it may not have been a success in terms of it not achieving its intended purpose, it may be wrong to call it a failure. Research carried out inside the facility and the lessons learned from it can be utilized in future projects and it may prove helpful in developing biospheres on other planets when humans finally land on them. Elon Musk and his team will surely learn from these lessons while formulating plans for their Mars mission. What is your opinion about this extraordinary science experiment? Let us know by leaving a comment below. Also, like this video to show your support. Lastly, make sure to subscribe to the channel and to press the bell icon as well so that you can watch our future videos as they get released. Thanks for watching Trailblazers HQ.